It's Hop Along Cassidy. With action and suspense, out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early west, Hopalong Cassidy. This famous hero thrills his 60 million fans with action and dangerous adventure. In the role of Hopalong Cassidy is the popular star of the motion picture series, William Boyd. And now, another exciting story of the early west. The Secret of Martin Dune. It was nine o'clock. The block-long collection of frame buildings called Tamarack was dark now, except for its two saloons, the sheriff's office, and the Regal Hotel. Across the street from the hotel in the narrow alley between the general merchandise store and the saddlery, a man waited, leaning against the side of the building, hidden in darkness. A two-gun man, the tips of his holsters tied to his thighs with leather thongs. A killer... He had taken one of the horn-handled Colt 45s out of its sheath and was spinning the cylinder once again, checking it carefully when the door closed across the street. He tensed, raised the gun expectantly, then relaxed again. Wrong man. Well. Excuse me, please, I... Excuse me. Oh, Sandy. Hello, Cass. What are you doing in town this time of night? Dad's working late at the hotel. Shipment of cattle going out in the morning. I knew that already. Huh? That's not what I asked you. I said, what are you doing here alone after dark? It's none of your business, Sandy Ransford. Okay, so it isn't my business. Town full of wild-eyed cowpokes and liquored engines. I can take care of myself. All right, Cass, I give up. Oh, I'm sorry, Sandy. I've been on edge lately. Yeah, so have I. Things going bad? Could be a lot better. I got 500 head ready to ship. Three years now, fighting wolves and blackleg and brand blotches. That's what I got to show for it. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? Your father and I, side by side. Him with the square D. Biggest, finest ranch in the section. And me next door with my poor little triple O. Oh, Hoppy. Hi, Sandy. Just check with the loading yard, and they'll be ready to take your stock for us next week, and... Oh. Uh, this is Cassie Doon. Hop along, Cassidy. How do you do, Mr. How do you do? Hoppy's going to give me a hand with my first shipment. I see. I'd better get into the hotel, Sandy. Dad will wonder what happened to me. Good night. Mm. Good night. Hmm. What's the matter? Did I run her off? <laughs> no. No, uh, she just got the jitters tonight. Her, too? Meaning what? Heard a disturbing piece of news down at the loading yard. Oh? Dart Hannah's in town. The fellow I talked to said he wasn't sure, but he thought he was working for the young lady's daddy. For Martin Doom? Yeah. But Hannah's no cowman. What's he doing on the square D? He's pretty handy with a six-gun. That's what they generally use him for. Um, you haven't had any arguments with your next-door neighbor lately, have you, Sandy? Not that I know of. Old man Doom and I get along. Better think hard. Because I know one thing for sure. Hannah's here to settle somebody's argument. Come on. My windpipe's full of trail dust. Let's see if old vinegar face here sell me a sarsaparilla without any wisecracks. <laughs> Come on, Sandy. Hey, Ransford. Oh. Oh, sorry, mister. I'll look where I'm going. Hey, hey, oh, no, no. No offense. No, 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 not at all. Did you see Ransford? Yeah, right here. Funny. I swear I saw something glitter across the street in that alleyway. And you're Sandy Ransford uh, of the Triple O? That's right. And I'd like to talk to you, Ransford. Okay. Right now. That's okay, too. What's the matter with you? Not here. Inside. Come on, Sandy. Across the street in the alleyway... The killer cursed softly, 
holstered his guns as the door of the saloon swung to behind the three men. The two punchers, standing in the line of fire, had saved the life of the jittery little man in the tweed suit. But not for long. The killer's jaw set. He glanced up and down the vacant street. Then, a gun in each hand, moved softly toward the entrance of the saloon. Now back to Hopalong Cassidy and The Secret of Martin Dune. Inside the saloon, Hoppy and Sandy Ransford maneuver the frightened little man in the tweed suit toward the bar. Over here, Sandy. Yeah. This okay, mister? Yes, 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 I, I reckon so. Well, hi, Sandy. Pete, set up three? No, oh, two. This here is Hopalong Cassidy, friend of mine. Fix him up with his sarsaparilla. And no wisecracks or he'll likely drill you between the eyes. <laughs> Don't believe a word of it, Pete. Two snake juice and one sarsaparilla. And no sass back. <laughs> Don't pay to take chances in my business. Ah, uh, now, what's on your mind, stranger? Well, I... I I'm awful glad you fellas... Come along just, just when you did. What are you scared of? You're shaking right down to your boots. And I, I ran on to something a while back. I reckon I should have kept my mouth shut about it. It's too late to do anything about that now. It's uh, it's the kid here. Who, me? Yes. Uh, are you lucky, Ransford? I'm due for some. But you haven't had any so far. Uh, well, you'll need it. You've got a fight on your hands. Yeah? Who with? Well, uh, it, it's quite a story. So I better start from the beginning. You see, I... Get down! He's got the light. Let me out of here! Let's go! Hoppy! Over here. Put up your gun. It is up. Whose shot was that? I thought it was you. Right close here. Don't move. Keep flat on the floor. Stranger. Where is he? I don't know. I can't see a thing. Everyone get the light. Oh, shut up. Let's get a lamp from the hotel. Uh, he's around here somewhere. Hey, mister, where are you? Who's this? It's me, Pete, the bartender. Look, mister, you had no call to do that. Huh? I, I didn't mean no disrespect. It's, it's a man's own business if he wants to drink sass, sarsaparilla. Hold it, everybody! Stay right where you are. I got a man posted at the front and rear doors. Don't anybody try to leave. No, no. Where'd the shots come from? Hold it, hold it, hold it. One at a time. Anyone see the flashes? I reckon everyone was too busy hitting the floor, Jim. Yeah, we was all down the floor. Who are you? Hop along, Casty, bar 20. You see where the shots come from? No, but I got a good idea. Yeah? Where? From outside the door. What makes you think so? Just a hunch. Hmm. Well, it beats me. Whole place shot up. No one hurt. Who said no one was hurt? Well, you can see, can't you? I can't see the man I'm looking for. Who? A little guy in a tweed suit Sandy and I were standing at the bar with when the shooting started. Sheriff. Yeah, what is it, Sam? Here he is. Out here at the back door. Come on, Cassidy. Keep your seats, boys. Be right back. Uh, over there. Oh, yeah. That's right where we found him. Laying across the back stoop. Hmm. Right through the head. This the man, Cassidy? Yeah. What's your name? I don't know. Conversation didn't get that far. Take a look in his pockets. Hoppy. Hoppy, is it? Yeah, Sandy. Looks like he had good reason to shake. Uh, what do you suppose he was trying to tell us? I don't know. That's funny. Huh? Nothing in his pocket. Clean as a whistle. Looks like whoever shot him just as soon we didn't know who he was. You still think those shots come from the front door, Cassidy? Yeah. The killer shot out the lights, moved inside during the excitement, and took care of our friend here. Then dragged him out on the back stoop and cleaned his pockets. Well, that ain't as easy as it sounds. Of course, the lights were out for most five minutes, and everybody in the place was holding the floor down with his belt buckle. He might have got away with it if he... Well, what are you looking at, Cassidy? His boots. Huh? Yeah. Awful dry this time of year, isn't it? What's that got to do with it? Nothing, maybe, but look at him. Covered with blue mud, dried hard. Where would he get in the mud this time of year? Hey, look, mister, we got no time for <laughs> this. Sorry, Sheriff, just curious. Well, now, 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 look, Mr. 
mentioned it, I went through all that with the sheriff just last night. And, uh, yeah. that make it easier? Oh. <laughs> it helps. <clears throat> like I said, I, I don't know what his name was. We don't keep a register here in the hotel. Figuring there's a lot of customers who just as soon uh, not sign one. Okay. So this little fella in the tweed suit checks in. Mm-hmm. About a week ago. Had a couple of bags, uh, one of them uh, typing machines and uh, some funny-looking junk. What kind of junk? Oh, big thing that unfolded. Had three wooden legs on it. Never saw one before. And a telescope. A telescope? Yeah. He rented a horse and took off the day after he got here. Didn't show up again till yesterday. Seemed nervous, kind of. All is uh, talking and uh, muttering to himself. You hear what he said? No, not much. Just uh, something about a mistake he'd made. Over and over, he kept saying a terrible mistake. They're going to be shooting and killing. Hmm. I didn't pay no attention, Mr. Cassidy. I I thought he was crazy. We uh, <clears throat> get some of those, too, you know. You tell all this to the sheriff? No, he didn't ask me. He mostly wanted to know what happened to the fellow's luggage. Oh, he's mad in a hornet that someone got up to the room and cleaned it out before he got there. Hoppy. Yes, Andy? Sheriff says we can leave now. Better get back to the ranch. Uh, look, that's to keep under your hat what you just told me, right? Right. Now, here's a turn off to the square D, Hoppy. I spread about four miles farther, over the ridge there. The ridge separates you from the dune outfit, huh? Yeah. I guess I got no right to be envious. My land's good enough. But dune's got the best cattle land in the state. Moccasin Spring, up on the ridge on his side, in the valley below it. You've never seen graze till you've seen that valley, Hoppy, right around his home ranch. Hmm, that is a queer one. You still thinking about last night? Yeah, why would Dune want to tangle with you? Look, forget Dune, will you? He's a good neighbor. I got no bone to pick with him. I wish I was as sure as you. A little guy had a private argument with somebody. He was scared crazy. He didn't know what he was saying. You can be pretty big-headed when you want to be. Now, wait a minute. You I'm wait gonna... a minute. It's as plain as the nose on your face. Martin Dune's out to get you. The little guy knew the story, and Dune hired Dart Hannah to take care of him. That's a wild yarn. You're not only pig-headed, Sandy. You're blind. Why? Is it on account of Cassie Dune? Shut up. Okay, Sandy, it's your funeral. If you want to play a lone hand, it's all right with... Wait. Go on, what is it? Peace and quiet, huh? Nice, friendly neighbors, you and Martin Dune. What are you talking about? Turn around, look over the ridge there. Smoke! Where is it? The draw above the ranch house. I got my cattle up there. Come on! Back to Hop Along Cassidy and The Secret of Martin Dune. The sight of smoke rising from the gulch above the Triple O Ranch House has sent Hoppy and Sandy Ransford streaking for the ridge and a better view. There it comes. Look at the herd. They're moving down ahead of it. We've got to head them off before they hit the arroyo. Let's go. <laughs> can't turn him. Stay here and open up your six-shooter. I'm going to try. Yeah, 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 over there. They're turning. Over there. Yeah! Ah, there they go. Yeah, the south draw. They'll hit the blind end and stop. Don't know how you did it. What about the fire? Uh, just over the hump. Now we've got to stop it before it hits the ranch. Wind's changed. Where's your water? Above the house. Damned the creek. You got any powder? Huh? Blasting powder. Yeah, but... We'll blow the dam and backfire. It's the only way. Let's go. Well, 
didn't get the ranch house, if that's any consolation. Where are the men? Up the Box Canyon. Figured we could move the herd back out now. What's left of it? How many did you lose? hundred head, maybe more. Swung over the edge of the arroyo in the stampede. Hmm. We'd just gotten here a minute sooner. Yeah. hundred head gone. Water blown to thunder. Winter hay burned up. Still think the little guy was crazy? Don't rub it in. How far is it to the square D? Ten miles. By the ridge? It's longer that way. It'll be worth it. Why? I want to take a look at the head of that draw where the fire started. If we're going to pay Martin Doon a visit... It won't hurt to have something to talk about. What about it, Hoppy? What's it smell like to you? Coal oil. That's what it is. Come on, we got another stop to make before dark. Where? You said Moxon Spring was the only water running this time of year, didn't you? Yeah. Good. Let's take a look at it. Yeah, this is Doom's water supply. It runs down toward his ranch house over there. Mm-hmm. Here's another one right here. What are you looking at? Stake in the ground here. There's another one a hundred feet back. Stakes? Well, who'd you reckon put them there? Simple enough. Our little man in the tweed suit. I wondered where he got that blue mud on his boots. I wish I knew it was staying around in that head of yours, Hoppy. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like a chuck wagon stew, Sandy. You just keep pouring things in, and sooner or later it turns into something you can use. You ready? Yep. Well, we can do this the other way, you know. Go to the shaft. Oh, and... this is okay with me. Good. Just keep your mouth shut and your hands close to your belt. If Doom wants to talk about it, that's fine. If he wants it the other way, that's fine, too. <laughs> Sit down, gentlemen. Have a chair. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess I'd better explain why we're here, Mr. Doon. Oh, no need to do that, Cassidy. <clears throat> I know why you're here. About the fire this afternoon, isn't it? That's right. You think I'm responsible for it? I didn't say that. Now, Sandy, you and I have been neighbors, good neighbors, for three years now. Let's not go into that. No, it's important. You've had a struggle with the Triple O, made yourself a small beef herd this year. Smaller since the fire. By about a hundred head. Oh, that's pretty hard to tell. That's right. You think I'd have any reason to try to ruin you, Sandy? Me with the square D, shipping 6,000 head a year? I told you once we weren't accusing you. Yet. No, wait a minute, Cassidy. Let's get something straight first. There's no use beating around the bush any longer, Doon. The fire ran down the coolie from the top of the ridge. It didn't just happen. It was started. We found traces of coal oil up there an hour ago. Well, of course you did. Now, we're here to find out... What did you say? I said, of course you found coal oil on the ridge. Because one of my men started the fire. You mean you... Wait a minute. You know what you're letting yourself in for, admitting that? <laughs> I started out trying to explain that, Cassidy. Well, maybe you'd better finish. Well, with your permission, I will. I said one of my men started the fire... That doesn't mean I had anything to do with it. But he was my man. I'm going to take the responsibility. Dart Hanna. Right. He called himself Ben Larimore when he came to me a week ago. I put him on as a cowhand. I didn't know until yesterday that he, uh, well, he, he's done other things in his time. And that's why I fired him. And that's why he tried to burn my ranch. Your ranch? Yes. If the wind hadn't changed, he would have pulled it off. My hands were all in town with the shipment. There was no one here except the cook. Hmm. Uh, what do you mean you're going to take full responsibility, Mr. Doom? Make it right with you, of course. Now, it seems to me you were going to uh, sell out last year, weren't you, Sandy? That's right. What were you asking? Twelve thousand. Uh, included two hundred head and a few horses. I changed my mind, though. Well, uh, how would fifteen sound to you? To sell out? Yes. <laughs> it's worth less than half that to me, but I put you in this spot, and it's only fair that I get you out of it. You're mighty generous, Mr. Doon. Well, I try to be a good neighbor. Yeah, I hadn't thought of selling. This year, anyway, with my first herd and all. Yeah, you know, the fire might have changed your mind. There's a lot of work to be done around there now. Hold it. Hmm? Nobody move. The window? Behind you. He's 
got a gun. Just ducked back. I thought I heard it open. Give me the nod, Sandy. Then both of you hit the floor. It is. It's Hannah. He, he's going to kill me. Take it easy. Go on. Talk so he can hear you about the deal. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, anyway, Sandy, I figure you'd uh, want a fresh start. A lot of range upstate away, isn't it? Yeah. And a uh, young fellow could build himself quite no. a... You... you got him. Hannah? Yeah. Well, I guess that sort of puts an end to the discussion. Yes, but what am I going to do? We'd better let the law take over, Doom. See you at the sheriff's office first thing in the morning. Well, that's all I can tell you, Sheriff. If it hadn't been for Cassidy here, Hannah would have... Sure, Doom. Uh, Sandy, there's a letter for you at the post office uh, from some engineering outfit, Clem says. Thanks, Joe. I'll pick it up in a few minutes. All right. Well, let me know if you need me anymore, Sheriff. Okay. And we'll get together today, won't we, Sandy? About the deal? Right. Hmm. He tells a magistrate story. Sure giving Sandy a fair shake. Fifteen thousand is about a good price. Well, I've been wrong before. I think you're just being ornery, Hoppy. Why would Hannah try to kill him? That's easy. Because he heard Doon double-crossing. Blaming him for the fire. Probably figured Duna spill on the murder, too. But great God for Cassidy, why? Why does the owner of the richest ranch in the district get himself tangled up in a mess like this? Because he wants Sandy's triple O. And don't ask me the why of that one, because I'm not sure yet. I'm only making a long guess. Go on. If I'm wrong, I'll apologize to Martin Doon until I'm blue in the face. And if I'm right, I'll smile real pretty while you apologize to me. Fair enough? Mm-hmm. And when do you plan to figure it out, Mr. Pinkerton? Right now. Doon's had a good start. I got a hunch we'll... Huh? Oh. Hello, Mr. Cassidy. I'm sorry, Miss Doon. What's the matter, Cass? I... I couldn't help hearing what you said about my father, Mr. Cassidy. I've thought the same thing for a few days now, and... And, well, you... Go on, Cass. He's right, Sandy. Father's after your ranch. That's why you saw me on the street the other night. I, I heard him tell Dart Hannah Mr. Coyle would be coming out of the Golden Spike Saloon and... Coyle? Was that the little guy who... Yes. I got Father to take me into town with him. I tried to find Mr. Coyle to warn him, but... But why, Cass? Why does your father want to... I don't know. I don't know. Stay here. Stay here with her, Sandy. <laughs> In a minute or two, I think we'll find out why. I don't know, Mr. Doon. This here letter's addressed to Sandy Ransford. Yes, but I... I just told you Sandy's up at the sheriff's office. And he told me to pick it up for him. Well, <laughs> you running errands for the triple O these days, Mr. Doon? Uh, never mind the smart cracks. Give me that letter. Uh, well, you're sure Sandy said it's okay? That's right, he did. Uh, okay, here you are. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, let me see. Mr. Doon. Hello, what? I'll take that letter if you don't mind. Uh, going somewhere, Mr. Doon? Here, give me that. Uh, Sheriff, sure. listen to me. Is uh, this letter you meant, Cassidy? I see. Yeah, some engineering outfit. Sandy said to look it over. Now listen, both of you. I'll make it worth your while. You can't let them take it away from me. I'll pay you anything you ask. Hmm. Tell me something, Doon. How long did you expect to keep this a secret? Until I could buy his ranch. I'd be safe then. It wasn't my fault. I tell you, it was my father. When he homesteaded the Square D, he bribed the government surveyor, had him swing the line over to the ridge. He had to have the spring end and the valley. That's what built the Square D, the spring and that stretch of winter graves. And it really belongs to Sandy. The home ranch, everything. I didn't know it until Coyle came. He was a surveyor doing advance work on the railroad. He found the mistake. I tell you, it nearly drove me crazy. I could have bought the triple O for nothing last year, but I knew the kid wouldn't sell now. I had to shut Coyle up. I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know till now he'd written a letter. I think we know the rest, Doon. If I was you, I'd send a message back to the Square D saying you won't be home for dinner. No, 
Now back to Hop Along Cassidy. Where's Cassie? Going home. Alone. She's pretty busted up. Uh, don't blame her. Nice kid. Yeah. And you know something, Hoppy? Huh? Old Dune isn't bad either. It wasn't his fault he got into that jam. Reckon he just went out of his head when he thought of losing the heart of his ranch. Yeah, that's the way it is with a lot of people, Sandy. If he'd come to you and laid it on the line, told you the range he'd worked over and built up for 25 years was really yours, you'd have worked out something with him. Yeah. Well, how does it feel to be the boss of the biggest spread in the section? Wish I'd got it some other way. Say, what'd you do with the letter? Letter? Yeah, with all that stuff in it about the surveys, the property line and all, from the engineering company. <laughs> oh, yeah. Might frame it and put it on the wall in your ranch house as a souvenir. Written on one of those new typing machines. Coyle left it over at the hotel, you know. What are you talking about? The clerk and I worked it out this morning. Huh? That don't make sense. Says the same thing over and over. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of the party. <laughs> Goodbye from Hopalong Cassidy. We hope you'll be back with us soon when Hoppy will again bring you more adventure and excitement. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Secret of Martin Dune was written by Harold Swanton. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production.